Hey guys, Foolish Mortal 42 back with some more World of Warcraft Classic. And we're playing Flagel, our Forsaken Shadow Priest. Uh, I think I can I can say Shadow Priest. We're nine talent points into Shadow, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm still kind of contemplating doing a hybrid. Um, uh. Where's the decrease? Do you have to go down so far? Yeah, you have to go like really, really far down to get any kind of effective healing bonus, really. Because um, Renew is really not your main healing source. Um, and that's only going to wind up being 5% crit. Um, yeah. I mean, that's a half a second of your cast. Yeah, I just... I think if you go, like, really deep into Holy, it's very good heals. Um, uh, Discipline is more your buffing tree. Uh, but even when we go f really far down, this va Vampiric Embrace is um, actually really good. Um, it's 30% of all damage heals the entire party, um, which if you're doing five-man dungeons is not bad. So I'm hoping, cross his fingers, that uh, that will be able to... Um, Help me to heal pretty well, um, at least in five minutes. So, so we are down here in Southern Barrens, and we're going to be doing um, Enraged Thunder Lizards, Chin's Empty Keg Egg Hunt, and Weapons of Choice and Betrayal from Within this evening. I hope. So these Thunderheads, we've got to kill a bunch of those. Um, so that's, we got to kill those for two items, and then we got to find some greater Thunderhawks and a Kodo liver, which I think is from any of the Kodo in Southern Baron. So we'll, we'll kill a couple just to kind of see how that's going to work. Yeah, that stun is really has helped me quite a bit. Hmm. Hope everybody is enjoying the um, let's play so far. I've really enjoyed playing. Uh, as always, I wish I had. There we go. Wish I had more time to play. But you know, I'm an adult now, and I've got. Um, stuff I've got to do. Work. And we've been working um, four 12-hour shifts every week for like three months almost, so not a lot of extra time. Alright. So that is... Well, that's complete. I could actually run back and turn that in really quick. Um, actually, why don't we do that? That's right here. Because I don't want... I don't look to be able to, uh... Level just by killing stuff down here, but... It, since it's green, we'll turn that in. Of course, it's All Hallows Eve, but since this is the first year, they don't have the um, all of the quest that they put in later. 
Oh, I've been expecting you. Ah, it's good to see you return with proof of victory. And it is good to know you have done so with your bones unbroken. The Hunt Thunderhawk Flagell is a fierce beast. It is time for you to face them. You must find where it roams and bring me its wings as proof of your success of your successful hunt. Do this and your time with me will near its end. First, slay a Thunderhawk, return its wings to Jar Okay. So you get a pretty good um yeah, you get a pretty good staff, uh, which, you know, if we hadn't had the Crescent Staff from uh, that other quest from Wailing Caverns, this would be a really good one. Uh, or you actually get a plus three stamina shield, which if you're doing, Walk or playing a warrior, that's uh, pretty good. Well met. So I, I'm wanting to say they're all down there, so... Yeah, crab the Thunderhawk. So instead of going down the road, we're gonna kinda go along this cliff face. <coughs> and I know I saw a Kodo stalking around out here earlier when I was doing a test record. I think for Chin's empty keg, uh, any storm hides, so those should work there. So that is a uh, a wandering uh, group of elite alliance NPCs, uh, and they will absolutely wreck your day. I don't think that they drop a quest item. I think they're just. I can't remember if they're a quest related group either. So. Maybe these aren't the ones that I need. I'm almost level 24. Well, there we go. So we've got one quest out of the way. Well, technically two. Maybe that uh, item for 
Chen's keg is just really rare. I don't think that it is, but... Alright. Alright, so Field of Giants and our first run-in with the Silithid. So we've got to dig up Still at the mound. Seems like forever ago that I picked up this quest. <laughs> right. Wow, only one. that any of the other mobs drop eggs either uh, so you can only get them from those tall uh, mounds These little ones, uh, uh, That was close. Oh, I forgot to buy milk. Well put. Of course, if you come down here on a um, a druid and you've got a uh, thorn shield, it's not as bad. You just gotta watch out for those uh, um, swarmers. So as you can see, this is a, uh, a very dangerous area down here. Uh, so I'm going to go on and pause the video and raid these uh, silithid mounds and grab uh, the rest of these eggs real quick. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Hold on. All right, we're back. Just finished that egg hunt and oh my gosh. I'm glad I didn't record it because it was embarrassing. I had to run for my life like four times. <laughs> so we're just going to continue our way down. Oop, sorry, had to sneeze there. Ruined watchtower. So we can take a side trip into Duskwallow Marsh here if we wanted to. Uh, Duskwallow is a pretty interesting zone. Uh, I think I've done that one before. Ah, Raider Thunderhawks. I 
think I've only, I only need one of these, so. Oh, well, gonna need more, apparently. Uh, Thunderhawk Saliva Gland. Yeah. And here's some Storm Hides, which I think is actually what we need for um, Chen's Empty Keg Part 2. I hope the sound volumes are a little bit better. I've been working on some of my settings. Um, I think on that Wailing Caverns, it was the background was a little too loud, and then on the last video, it was too quiet. I think this quest is going to be quite frustrating. <laughs> I love the The sound design, as always, uh, Blizzard did an excellent job. You can see my Shadow War Pain's really starting to pump out some consistent damage now. There we go. So no more of those, even though those are really cool. Uh, I always liked having one of those as a uh, hunter. I think they were one of the very few in vanilla that had um, a ranged attack uh, as its default, um, but only very specific ones when you tamed them. I think it was the I think it was one of these down here that had a uh, that would stand back and just basically cast lightning bolt over and over pretty neat hmm So I will continue, ah, oh, there we go. This starts a, I want to say a long chain, maybe. Hail. Gans Reclamation. In solitude, I wander these roads. The dwarves of Bel Modan show no respect for my land. Horrendous blasts drive holes deep into the ground as noisy machines rip apart the hills. Lands which once served as home and provider to my tribe are now riddled with destructive dwarves. Attempts at reaching a diplomatic solution have failed. Now is the time for a decisive action. Drive the dwarves from Bale Modan excavation by force and bring to me the journal of their leader prospector Kaz Gorm. Be careful. Which is I think right here. Yep. Which technically it's an ancient Dwarven Stronghold, I think. <laughs> and the Dwarves are actually trying to reclaim their birthright, too. Um, or maybe they built this. I'm not sure. I don't think Dwarves are actually native to Kalimdor, now that I think about it. Yeah, 
as much as I love to talk about lore and stuff, my actual lore knowledge is shoddy. <laughs> These guys are actually level 20, up to 23, so getting significantly more experience than what I anticipated. There we go, Lizard Land finally. Gans Reclamation, Excavators, Foreman's, and Kazgorm's Journal. We will be coming back to that. I want to kind of stay on target, so to speak. over and killing a bunch more uh, um, oh quill bores. I think we only have a backstabber wand and a war shield Ooh, hello, Mr. Stalker. I think he tried to curse me. There is a backstabber. All right. It's not going to help you any. I don't think these are actually the ones that dropped the wand. Oh, I was wrong. Now I just need a shield. Two-handed axe. Oh, we'll disenchant that. Ooh. So what's interesting about these is you can actually use these as weapons. So if you're having trouble finding a wand, and actually come down here if you're on the quest. I don't think that um, they will actually drop that item unless you're on the quest. Ooh. Might cross your fingers. I have gotten a random world drop blue out of these before. Nothing. Well, some wool. That'll work.
Yeah, I saw him over there. I'm targeting. So that is the first of three bosses that we've got to kill. And once again, our inventory is rapidly filling up with uh, quest items. say these stalkers are everywhere. Say one of the other bosses over here somewhere. Ooh. I think that little hut up there is where the shamans go for one of their totem quests. Uh, we might head up there and see. Shield, shield, no. So that's about 30 minutes, so I'm going to go on and pause the video there. Uh, I'm going to keep killing these war frenzies for their shield. I think they're the ones that dropped the shield. Um, and then I'm going to try and find 
um, the other boss real quick. All right, hold on. Well, well I'm going to call that a video, and, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.